Greetings, YouTubians, and welcome back to Wayne Sharp World, where today we are going to be taking a look at a brand new American-made OTF from one of the most unlikely companies you would ever expect to hear it from, especially on this channel. I have never featured this brand on my channel, and uh, I'm very happy to do it because I'm uh, very pleased with the outcome of this knife, and this video is brought to you guys by Blade Ops. They did send this to me. Be sure to look them up for all of your knife and EDC needs. Be sure to hop on down that link below and check out this knife, which happens to be from... Bear Ops. Yeah, Bear Ops, Blade Ops. That is a complete coincidence. Uh, no affiliation there by any stretch of the imagination. But Bear Ops. Now, guys, I've heard of Bear Ops. Um, they don't exactly have a shining reputation, um, at least in terms of quality, fit and finish. A lot of the things we look for, you know, no disrespect, but I'm just kind of laying the facts out there from, from my experiences and what I've heard. But this is different. Very different. Um, my buddy from Blade Ops sent me a text. He said, hey, Blade Ops just came out with a new OTF, and they did it right. You want to check it out? I thought, okay, you know, you've never steered me wrong before. So, <laughs> yeah, I guess. Let's let's check it out. It's Made in America. I always want to give Made in America knives as good of a shot as I can on this channel and, uh, and show them off to you guys as much as I can, especially when it's something this good. And what we have here is, to the best of my knowledge, this is just the, uh, the Bear Ops OTF. And let me tell you, it smacks. It is extremely impressive. And it's not a crazy price. There are some things that I think people will probably have a little issue with. Um, but overall, the fit and finish and execution is absolutely on point. Um, let's go over some specs. We'll, we'll cover something that some people may not like. But again, we need to really look at this as a whole and do some comparisons here before we go making uh, full-blown opinions. But what we are looking at here is an overall length of 8.36 inches, a blade length coming in at 3.5 inches with a blade thickness of 106 thousandths. Blade material. Here we go. D2. So take it how it is. D2 steel, Tonto style blade, flat grind, handle length coming in at 4.94 inches, and a handle thickness at 457 thousandths. Aluminum chassis or aluminum handle. Uh, user of a right hand only. That's that's the other thing. Um, I thought I feel like they missed something there. Right hand only. Uh, carry, we have a weight coming in at 3.3 ounces, which is not too bad at all for this. A price of $184.95. Keep in mind, this is USA made, made in America from Bear Ops. And just so you, Bear Ops is actually a division of Bear and Son Cutlery. A lot of you probably know that. I'm not super familiar with the brand. I did hop on their website, uh, take a look at just what they're doing and what they're offering. Um, and it really is, and it's an impressive website. This is the first impressive knife I've handled from them, uh, but it is very impressive. Uh, if, I don't know if this knife is made in Jacksonville, Alabama, but Bear and Cun Sutlery, it, Sutlery, Bear and Son Cutlery is based in Jacksonville, Alabama. So, um, I don't know exactly where in the country these are coming from. It would make sense if these are being made in Alabama because Alabama is a pretty affordable state to manufacture in, but I don't know that for sure. Um, and let's also remember, I know I said D2. I know I said $184.95. But let's not forget the tomfoolery that was the Benchmade Infidel for $400 with D2. I know that was a little ways back in time, and it was a little more justified back then. I get that. I'm not trying to totally throw Benchmade under the bus again because I've been doing that a lot lately. But $400 for a Benchmade OTF with D2... This is not bad for $185 with D2, especially when we go over what we're about to go over. Because like I said, they nailed this. They they really, truly did nail this. It, it's, it's everything someone looks for in an OTF. Let's do some size comparisons. Here we have a Microtech uh, Duroc Delta. So the slightly bigger one. It's a little longer. And we also have an Axial Shift. And I got news for all the Microtech nuts out there. I'm also not exactly the biggest Microtech fan at the moment, but 
if you are one of the people that think Microtech is the only company making good OTFs anymore in America, you are absolutely delirious because these are two examples of two other companies that are absolutely crushing it. So there is a lot of competition. Microtech is not the only one anymore. They still do good work. They're still expensive. These are both half the price of this knife. So take that for what it's worth. Um, but yeah, some size comparisons there. Um, and there's those. Now let's just check something here too. There's the deployment on the shift, or the, the, the close. There's the close on the Duroc Delta. There's the close on the Bear Ops OTF. Now let's check the deployment and see, just, 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 just watch. Okay. 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 Not much of a difference at all. That's just, that's what I'm trying to get across to you guys. Um, outside of a name, and obviously some slight difference in aesthetics from knife to knife, um, this has done very well. Uh, the blade itself, it's D2 steel. It's got a really, really good edge on it. I don't do this on camera a lot, especially with OTFs, but yeah. Whoop. <laughs> of course it would do that now. Check it out. For an OTF, it has a very good edge. You guys all know OTFs don't exactly have the best cutting geometry in the world, but this is not bad at all. Very, very impressed with the edge on this knife. So no issue there with the edge. Um, I did a measurement and it actually did measure pretty low. It measured at like 18 thousandths. That doesn't really mean a lot for OTFs. Um, OTFs just get thick pretty quick based on the manufacturing of how just how they make the blade. It's a narrow blade, never has the best cutting geometry. Uh, but this blade does do a fantastic job. Very happy with the edge. And it's just a good looking Tonto. Um, it, it, it's pretty basic, done right. I do like that they have very minimal blade branding. All you have there is the Bear Ops logo and, of course, the D2, and I think that's the whole part number there. That could probably not be there, and that'd be cool. But, um, yeah, it, it's, it's a very well-done blade. Excellent Tonto. Uh, very nice, hard-working tip. Um, great for piercing. So, yeah, it's a good blade. Uh, the chassis, the handle, um, really does remind me of a Microtech or an Axial Shift. Um, not a Guardian Tactical because you guys know the, the difference there. It's just it's too big to ever compare anything else to the Guardian Tactical with the ball bearings under the slider. But in terms of performance compared to um, an Axial or a Microtech, or a Hogue for that matter too, um, it's, it's right there. They're really all in the same boat for the most part. Um, action is in and out. Very, very, very nice. Um, very nice deployment and close. I haven't had this thing. I've had this now for th almost three days. I've done a lot of fidgeting, a lot of deployments. Watched a whole round of Netflix, just kind of messing with it like this. Um, I have ran it through some paper just to check the edge. Um, and I've had no misfires, no issues. So I, I'm really impressed with it. I, I do about the same I do with just about every OTF. Um, and it really has passed everything with flying colors. But I really do think they missed something back here. Not that I, I personally have no problem with this since I'm a righty. Um, I actually prefer it. But when you're bear ops and you're not exactly known by everybody in the world and you do have a lot of doubters. I, I was a doubter of blade ops when I got this knife in. Um, I thought for sure it was not going to be this good. Um, I was shocked for it to be as good as it's turning out to be. Um, but when you're bare apps, when you're trying to grow, when you want to get your knife in as many people's hands as possible, it's not really great to have a right hand only carry knife, especially with OTFs when there's so many options for a reversible carry and still have the knife look really, really good. I understand they're trying to keep their price point low, but at what cost? I would have really liked to see this clip be something like Axial. Maybe it doesn't slide in or maybe it's something more like, you know, like the Microtech style where it's still reversible. It just screws on at the bottom instead of going through the bottom. I don't know. They had a lot of options and I think they kind of missed that. But that was really the only miss on this. And like I said, 
American made with D2. I don't have an issue with that. I really don't. Not for this level of execution. Now, if the, if the actuator was tearing my thumb up and the clip was a wreck and there were scratches on the handle and the blade had burrs and all these problems, then I would have a real issue with D2 and $185. But considering the level of execution and the location of where exactly this knife was made... Um, that being in the U.S., I, I'm fine with that. I'm 100% fine with that. And I'm really, really impressed with this. Um, when I was looking through Bear Ops website, it, it, they really talked themselves up. I, and I hope this is just the beginning. I hope they're building something here. Um, because if they can keep spitting these kind of knives out, USA made, under $200, I would like to, of course. I, I would actually like to see this have been like 154 CM. Would have been a lot nicer. I think that would have looked a lot better to just about everybody. Um, you know, baby steps though. This is actually a huge step compared to other Bear Ops knives. But this is impressive. This is very, very nice. And if you're looking for an OTF under $200 and you really want American made... This is one of your few options, and I would 100% recommend it. I truly, honestly would. Um, this is a fantastic OTF. It's It stands right up there with all the rest of them. I truly mean every other single one of them, um, especially if you're just looking for a bare-bones OTF, uh, you know, the, the regular handle and a whatever blade and, and a standard build. This is fantastic for $185 USA made. Um, let me know what you guys think of this. Let me know what you think of Bear and Son and Bear Ops and any division of them that you may have had experience with. They're very new to me, but I'm telling you, if they keep making knives like this, I will be having more Bear Ops on the channel because this was a joy. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. Hope you have a great rest of your day, and until the next one, I'm out.